box. Uh, here we have an Ingram movement and as you can see the escape wheel and the escapement is on on the outside. Here we have the entry pallet on this side and I'll zoom up just a little bit closer and we have the exit pallet on this side and typically when we oil we put oil on the entry pallet here which collects on the teeth and by the time it gets to the other side it deposits it on the exit pallet so that way you've got the oil as you oil here uh, oiling the entire escape wheel for the escapement now over here on our Seth Thomas that we're working on the escape wheel is up here at the top and here's the exit pallet up at the top and we need to be able to oil at the entry pallet now the entry pallet is down here within the movement so it's going to be a little bit trickier on this one compared to the Ingram which would be much simpler to, to oil so we're going to have to put this on the test stand mount it on there laying down and then go in from underneath at an angle and add the clock oil to the escapement so we'll do that next alright we're focused in on the entry pallet as you can see here on an extreme close up so what we need to do is go down here and put a little oil here let that feed through on a few teeth a little bit more feed through a few teeth and deposit just a little bit more and you can see how the teeth are picking it up on the entry pallet and as it makes its way around it'll deposit on the exit pallet and eventually distributing the oil to all the teeth One more. So that should be plenty now. And that's and that's how we do it. Now the next thing we need to do is uh, oil the loop, the crutch loop, and we'll go to that now. And now the last place to oil the loop, uh, the loop where the crutch goes through. I'm going to add a little bit of oil there so it has some good lubrication. Let me back up a little bit so you can get a good view here. Okay. Just a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other side. That should do it. So it gives it a little bit more play. Alright, 